Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play 2005 to 2012 Sony Computer Entertainment America presents Insomnia Games Ratchet Deadlock for the Sony PS2 and PS3. This is the PS3 remastered version, so game settings, everything seems fine. We'll be going to single player, new game, contestant. Uh, save slot one. This is actually my second attempt at recording this because for some reason the game got really laggy. But as I was going to say when I was first recording this, as for the bonus content of Up Your Arsenal, we will be seeing that probably sometime in early March. As well as Yoshi's Island um, and I believe Donkey Kong Country 3 is the other game that I have bonus content to do. Um... Tools of Destruction will be back up Monday. I'm recording it tomorrow. We just had some run-ins with the boss that we were on. And without further ado, let's dive into this game. Hopefully it doesn't lag anymore. One week ago, somewhere in the Shadow Sector. <laughs> Eleven hours ago, aboard the Starship Phoenix. Incoming call from the mayor of Metropolis. The <clears throat> new mayor of Metropolis. Oh, you mean, right. <laughs> uh, just a sec. Um... Uh, Greetings, Mayor. I... No, no, no. Um, well, long time no see. Uh, no. Uh, so, Metropolis still in one piece, huh? <laughs> I... <laughs> Greetings, Captain. I see you're taking good care of my old ship. Well, she need a lot of tuning up, but I've kept her running. <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid I bring bad news. As you know, Captain Starshield disappeared over a month ago. I've just been informed that he's been killed. Oh my gosh, no! Oh, what happened? Apparently he was involved with some kind of illegal combat sport, something called Dread Zone. We believe it was being run by this man, Gleeman Vox. He operates an underground media empire from within the Shadow Sector. The Shadow Sector? It's a lawless region of space on the fringe of the galaxy. Many other heroes have disappeared recently and we fear that they might have met with the same fate. Ratchet, I just wanted to warn you before... Unidentified craft approaching. Uh-oh. Are you the Lombax known as Ratchet? Um, I don't suppose you guys are here to fix the starboard engine, huh? Well, looks like Ratchet and them have been kidnapped. So, things are off to a great start so far. Like, terrible. Six hours ago at Dread Zone headquarters. Yeah. We've captured Subject 209, Mr. Vox. Excellent. Bring him in. Yes, sir. We caught two strays in the process. Should we terminate them? Give him collars and see if he can get some work out of them first. Present time in an uncertain location. Can you hear me? You've been unconscious for hours. You're probably a little disoriented. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Whoops. It uh, looks like we've got a feedback loop in the visual matrix processor. Hold still a second. How's that? Okay, now to activate your speech function. 
me out of this thing, you blarg headed frack monkey! I can barely breathe and my tail feels like it's shoved right up my... I, 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 there seems to be a problem with the speech circuitry. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at it later. Now hold still. Let's just see if I wire that teleportation circuitry right. The new armor you're wearing is standard issue for new contestants. Contestants? We will explain later. If you do not complete the qualification course in the allotted time, we will all be terminated. Oh, snap! You must calibrate your battle suit's targeting matrix. First, look over at the hollow target on your left. Turn okay, to face the done. target on the right, then fire. Okay, easy enough. Good. Now shoot the hollow target above you. See, this is a different game. You're like in permanent strafing mode. Your circuit should be in working order now. Try getting to the top of that ledge. Yeah, so if you guys like uh, using both analog sticks, perfect. I am transmitting a digital representation of the area. Can you see it? The minimap will yes. show you the positions of nearby enemies. I am reading three more hollow targets in your vicinity. Can I hit him from down here? Good, Ratchet. Yeah, you can you too. Teleporter nearby that will take you to the next stage of the qualification course. Kind of cool. Weapons don't have to reload in this game either. Greetings, hero, and welcome to Dread Zone. Rest assured, you are now far beyond the reach of hope. There will be no rescues, no pardons, no possibility of escape. You are now a contestant on the greatest television program that Galaxy has ever known. A celebrity gladiator battling for the pleasure of a billion screaming fans across the Shadow Sector and beyond. Chances are you'll be dead by tomorrow. But those of you who play the game with skill and strategy will earn a chance to win your freedom. So, good luck, hero. We'll be watching you. <laughs> God, man, the graphical glitches in this remake. They're absolutely terrible. I have figured out a way to get information to you Teleportation cards. Knowing. Pay attention to secret messages at the bottom of your screen. I get it. At the top of your screen, Blade balls. The bar. As you destroy enemies, you gain experience. When the bar is full, you will gain a level, and your nanotech will increase. Cool. So literally, the game plays out the exact same way the other games did. You know, weapons. Except the fact that, like, sorry, I'm like, wait, do weapons have to reload in Ratchet and Clank? No, they don't. I keep thinking of like playing Call of Duty. Oh, these guys. There are lots of skill points in this game, though. Generally, like 15 per level, well, per planet, world, you name it. Note the deadlock collar securely fastened around your neck. This collar cannot be broken or removed. Should you stray into any restricted area, the collar will administer an extremely painful shock. Observe. I hate this job. Should a contestant become uncooperative or worse, boring, his or her collar can be detonated at any time with the push of a button. Well, there you have it. Nothing to lose your head over, <laughs> right? Tap R2 to switch between recently used weapons. Congratulations, Ratchet. Yay, Magma Cannon. Qualification course. Well, teleportation. There should be a teleport. Yay, we get to go home. Wait, can we skip? Oh, I know, never mind. It's a cutscene. <laughs> wow, this place is crazy. I've always wondered what it'd be like to be a professional gladiator. I mean, these guys have the life, the fame, the money, the... Babes. Try not to forget that we are being held prisoner by a criminal organization. This is no time for fantasizing. I believe the Ratchet, fact. You should go find Al. I... Okay. Have marked his location on your map. I think he has something to show you. I believe this game. Uh, why it's kind of like graphically weird when it comes to the cutscenes was because this was actually rushed. Like they kept putting it under under wraps and they're like, oh yeah, I guess we should release this. And if you guys bought this game back in, when it came out, I believe it was like 15 or $20, but it also came with uh, uh, Quest for Booty as well, so that's kind of cool. Hey, Ratchet. 
Uh, I have something to show you. Meet your new battle bots. Call me Merc. This here's Green. Uh, hi, sir. I got them off a former contestant who, um, won't be needing them anymore. Don't worry, boss. You won't end up like that last guy. I hope not. I still have nightmares about it. Oh, suck it up, Green. Once you win a few battles, we can afford to upgrade them. Just come and see me whenever you want to juice them up. God, I keep thinking the recording is going bad, but then I look at the, the TV as well, and I'm like, wait, this game is just as glitchy as it normally is. Me? So anyways, let's go to Clank and see what's, uh, what this plan is. Diggs? Um, Diggs? I mean, what's all the hardware for? Ah, they call this the mission control room. Each contestant is assigned a mission engineer to monitor their progress. Right. So, what's his face? Figured he'd save a few bolts and make you do it. Ahem. All right, fresh meat. Enough chit chat. You're next up in the battle dome after Mobius, man. And from the way he's fighting, it won't be much longer. Now move it. Ratchet, I will assist you any way I can. Thanks, Clank. These guys obviously don't know who they're messing with. Yeah, we've saved the galaxy a bajillion times over. Good thing we can skip that. Yeah, we don't. I know this Attention game has wrench hero. upgrades, but uh. Head to the Battle Dome transport. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, man. Greetings, hero or heroine. We thank you for choosing Vox Airways for your traveling needs. We do hope you have a pleasant flight. Sit back, relax, and enjoy our in-flight entertainment. Courtesy of the Vox Network. Okay, cool. Something you should know. I'm not a real tyrannoid. <laughs> Will you lose your lunch if you have to watch one more reality dating show? Is your blog's gone wild video scratched from overuse? Then it's time to turn that dial to something a little more dangerous. Time for some real action. It's time to blow it up! That's right! It's time for Dread Zone! The galaxy's number one uncensored, unethical, and completely underground combat sport! Blasting straight at you, live from the Battle Dome! And now, on pay-per-view, watch as Ratchet and Clank take on Ace Hardlight and the Exterminators! They save the galaxy three times over, but how long can they survive in the zone? Catch it live, right here, on Vox. This is one of those games that's... Oh, oh man. Mobius, man Ganos. This game is one of those less comedical ones and more season. serious Ratchet & Clank games. Next up, we have... Uh, let me see here. Ratchet? Yeah, I never heard of him. Well, he's probably just intermission material, folks, but don't worry. We have Grey Thunder and Hydro Girl coming up later, so stay tuned to Dread Zone. Well, here he is. <laughs> he's a little guy, isn't he? Well, don't bother getting up for drinks, folks. This guy won't last two rounds. We'll see. Creepy glitch. God. The, the remaster is so bad. Let's introduce our first contestant. He's a long black. Oops. He's been I don't want this weapon. I always forget that it's in permanent strafe mode, so I push the strafe mode. And, or strafe button, and it just back gets some balls. So it just literally turned into uh, first person mode. I believe there's also a skill point for not taking damage everywhere you go. I guess I didn't calibrate that bot correctly. Go ahead and press the down directional button to initiate the auto repair sequence. You can do this anytime a bot becomes too damaged to continue. Kind of figured. Uh, we're right there, but we're invisible for some reason. You can press the down directional button. Dude, be quiet. We don't need to know this every damn time. Oh, get some balls again, eh? Well, at least you guys are very quick at destroying the uh, blade balls. Ah, uh, yeah, weapons can go up to V99 in this game. But I believe, once again, that only activates once you're on challenge mode. Otherwise, I think it's it's either V5 or V10 that it gets to. I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes your bots kind of get in the way of the camera. So it's like, well, I'm trying to shoot somebody, but you're kind of in my way. Dude. 
go. Any any ammo I can just pick up around here? No. Ah, more of these guys. Guys, stop shooting the the ship. Okay, I'm assuming. Yep, we got ourselves a bridge. Hey, look, a bolt crank. Whoa! Back up there, buddies. Oh, you wouldn't say. That's definitely not like any other Ratchet and Clank game ever. Bolt cranks have just been a staple since the first game. Okay, I'm just trying to collect some ammo here before we attempt this. Watch, as soon as I grab it, I'm pretty sure some enemies will pop up. Unless they're just warning you. They could just be warning you for the next challenge. Or the next time you see a bolt crank, at least. Da 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 da. Oh. Stalker turret. My scanners show an extremely deadly 70 millimeter stalker turret ahead of you. You need to get behind cover immediately. The shields on that turret are impenetrable. You will have luckily we got EMP. These things give you a lot of experience when you kill them. Uh oh. I interrupted him apparently. Excellent work, Rand. Can't touch this 500 bolt. Oh yeah, green metal. And we got two skill points. And we unlocked Catacrom 4. Let's keep this quick, Box. Oh, well, far be it from me to keep the Superstar Exterminator from his busy social schedule. I just have one question for you. Okay, shoot. Would you like to buy an Ace Hard Light video game? How about an Ace Hard Light lunchbox? Action figures, movie rights, collectible trading cards? Ace Hardlight is the perfectly manufactured celebrity, straight from the presses of the Gleeman Vox Media Empire. So tell me, why is it that I can't give this stuff away? Well, uh... Don't answer that. Let me take a wild guess. It's because my fans can't stand Ace Hardlight! He's a pompous with the charisma of bloggy and Nazis! So, what are you saying, exactly? Zip it, Wonder Boy! The little billies and Susies of the world are spending a trillion volts a day on worthless swag! And I'm completely cut out of the market! Either you start selling this junk, or I'll find someone who will! Now get out of my sight! Bah! Ratchet. Sucks to be you, man. Okay. You need to choose. So anyways, I guess in the next episode, what we'll be doing is we'll be going to the next plan. So, yeah, yeah, we can also buy the acid mod. Now, what mods do is they give you the chance to add stuff to your weapon. So I always put the acid mod on my dual viper, so just put it on here. I just showed you guys. So anyways, in the next episode, we'll be going to the next planet, Catacrom 4. See you guys.